Hey, what's up guys? Here's uh, Ergo with another Rust video. Uh, today we're playing on Soloville as a solo only server. Um, we're actually gonna go over a little bit of analysis, uh, seeing what we did, try to explain what we did, uh, give a little bit of tips, try to help out and, you know, improve the community, improve your guys' gameplay. Um, so right here, first tip, you know, uh, be careful about being wet and cold at the same time. You'll end up dying just because uh, the more wet you get, the cooler your character is. So I end up drinking some water here and then later, and I'm needing to build fire because I, uh, Almost died to just the cold. As you can see, my health's gone down. Put a fire down so I wouldn't die to the cold. And I'm gonna try to build a base. So I ended up building a base over here, and then I heard somebody over here farming. Um, and I'm just killing him, seeing if he has anything. He's farming over here, so hopefully we'll get some loot out of him. If not, it's okay. Uh, try to get people off from where we're trying to build at, so that way uh, we have less neighbors, and it makes it easier on us. Uh, we actually end up seeing this guy later, so you just remember his name, Dark Viper. So, you know, gonna finish the stone because, you know, we're not animals, you know. Uh, came over to the harbor, recycled, and then ran over to the green monument. So, usually, whenever you're starting the game, you know, you put your base down and you want to go ahead and start doing the monument so you can uh, accumulate scrap as well as pick up green cards to do the next monument. So, run over here, picked up our blue card, and this guy built a base right next to us almost. So, we're gonna go check it out. Um, another quick tip, you know, don't ever put twigs is your foundation because people can break it really easy so to check if he's still here maybe left I end up hearing him actually so he's in his base just hiding he's probably new because you know he should have upgraded his foundations and he didn't I'm gonna hit both of them just to make sure that if he tries to upgrade them you know he can't if you hit him it stops from upgrading it uh gonna miss here you know I'm actually very bad shot at this game sometimes so uh, check behind me if you press alt you know you can actually look behind you so press alt look around and I'm trying to get this guy oh, got a good shot on him just on his foot he can't see me but i can still get him uh, he's gonna hide around for a little bit i'll see if we can find him oh, it's not in here he's probably hiding uh that's probably his tc he didn't have a whole lot of loot inside of it and oh sounds like he's gonna come out so yep Got him, killed him, broke his bag, and then we're gonna use some of his resources to end up upgrading our base. We actually built our base in a very bad spot where we couldn't connect the base and um, end up having to have like two separate rooms. Uh, came back to Harbor, uh, went to go farm a little bit, and oh, heard a tree fall. So, I'm gonna go investigate, you know. The guy's probably farming, he's not paying too much attention, so that's a big thing. If you're out farming stuff, you wanna look around every once in a while to make sure nobody's trying to sneak up on you, like I'm sneaking up on this guy. Um, also, if you're the other person, you know, trees falling, you know, try to go towards the sound, try to catch these guys by surprise and get some uh, free loot. Makes it easier on you, that way you don't have to do it yourself and waste the time. So, as you know, I uh, missed my shot earlier. I'm definitely going to do it right now here in a second. Try to line up my shot. And I miss. Horribly. But somehow I hit the shot through the trees. Try to come up to me. Just hit him. Oh, he ended up having an okay amount of wood, which is great for us. That way we don't have to farm later. And yep, gonna go home and depot here in a little bit. But I uh, picked up a horse along the way. And it's gonna be great actually, so we can actually go to the blue card monument with this. So I'm gonna grab our stuff. You wanna grab the one car that's already been used. That way that um, you don't end up overusing or not being as sufficient as possible. Uh, we didn't get anything too crazy here, but we did get what we came for, which is the rare card. And now we can actually start doing oil rig, which is right next to our base, which is really convenient. Uh, we're gonna have to go and take the horse back, head back home, and go into depot. Ends up being another base right next to us that uh, I wanted to come check out. Uh, looks like he actually built everything up. He might either still be building or he might have left because it looks unfinished. I don't hear anything, but I'm just going to go farm this tree. Maybe he'll come out. Turns out he's not going to come out, but we're going to mess up this little thing right here, just if he's still here. And then we end up seeing in chat that he's saying something, but we don't know if it's him. So I took a wild guess, you know, I'm going to go and just check it out. He's typing, he's probably in his base somewhere safe. So we're going to go check it out. Actually, I just left to go do something and I ended up coming back, but yeah. He's actually a guy that we killed earlier. I was farming over the tree. Oh, sounds like somebody's home. All right, let's see if it's the guy or not. No. 
see if you can see anything through these cracks. Um, so we ended up waiting outside a little bit, thinking about going through the top with the horse, because the twigs. Uh, also thought about leaving just because he wasn't here, or it didn't seem like he wanted to come out. So I bought that home here a little bit, but opens this door. Is that with the Yoka? Doesn't matter, he doesn't know where we're at. So got one shot off on him and proceed to miss three shots in a row and then would get finally one good shot. And it was the guy. So, you know, just kicking our neighbors. Um, definitely makes it easier when your active neighbors aren't there anymore. I would go to Oil Rig and I'd find a guy and I'm missing twice and not understanding why, and then after the second shot, I realized that I'm using wooden arrows instead of high velocity arrows. Start shooting at me, I'm like, all right, it's time to get out of here, I don't wanna die. I have all my red cards, my blue cards on me, and my fuses, so I end up going home depoting, but, you know, let's try to make a play, come back with just the compound bow, and it turns out he did make it on there, and we're gonna shoot him far away, he doesn't know we're here. Gotta tag him once, and then proceed to miss a bunch of shots. He's getting shot out by both sides, which is great. This really helps us out. Oh, got the second shot. And he's dead. We're gonna finish off all these scientists up here so we can um, actually get up there and not do what he did. So, we got all these scientists, and luckily, he's got a revolver on him so we can actually finish uh, oil rig. Doing it with just combat bow sucks, but picked up all the stuff, everything we needed. And then, we're gonna go ahead and try to finish this out. First oil rig run of the day. Uh, I'm just going through all these guys, hoping we'll get a gun or something. Um, oil rig's a great monument to run by yourself, especially if it's a small one, and we built literally right outside of it, so it uh, makes it really easy. It's a good way to farm too, between farming and you can do monuments at the same time, so you just alternate. So, and I'm finding a garage store, which is great. Uh, we came back home to the depot because we had a bunch of crap. We also picked up the revolver, but we also needed our cards to be able to finish the, um, the monument. So, start the crate. And throw a grenade, hit some bad guys. And we killed them all. There we go. So, a great thing here is we picked up the flamethrower, which is going to prove super useful later on. Uh, we ended up coming back to harbor and finding somebody and hitting us first. Start shooting at him, and then he decides to jump in the water. So another thing here, don't ever jump in the water, because it literally leaves you vulnerable to where you can't do anything. The only thing you can use is melee weapons, and now I'm above him, and I know he's under me, so I'm just going to chase him around for a little bit, play a little cat and mouse, and find him, shoot a couple times. He's going to know that he's kind of screwed here, so he's going to try to swim away with his thumb, he's leading himself in the open. Hit him a couple times. Turns out that I still suck at shooting. So, play some more cat and mouse. Gonna jump up and try to chase him around, make sure he doesn't get on any land. That way, we're just closing him off. Get him swimming around, keep checking both sides. And now I know he's on this side, so I'm just gonna run over here and then I see him. Uh, I'm gonna try to hit a couple shots, but no luck. So, I'm trying to make some decision making, trying to get an angle. And then uh, I know he can't get to any land before. I get to where I'm trying to get to, so just jump over here. And he still didn't move, and just shoot him a couple times, and he's dead. So, I uh, just loot him real quick, and it's actually the guy we killed earlier. Um, by the stone. So, went ahead and depoted, went back to Harbor, you know, farming again, trying to get some scrap so we can start building stuff, start making our tier 2, and we end up hearing somebody. So, I thought you could shoot through the gate. Turns out you can't. So, here I am, looking like an idiot. And then, just pull out my gun, and it's in there, gonna get a couple shots, and I end up getting hit. So, I end up trying to think this over. So, even if you suck at the game, as long as you're better at strategy, you can sometimes win. Try to outsmart your people, and, you know, especially if you're new to this game, you can always outsmart somebody now. Try to go around, flank him, and he thinks I'm gone. So I'm just running around here. I know where he's at. He knows he's in there. Um, went over here, checked the box there was. I keep running around, seeing where he's gonna go. Um, I can hear him breaking stuff. So I'm over here, just waiting. I wanted to get really close to me right here, but he ends up getting a little bit farther than I thought he would. So just waiting again, crouching so he doesn't hear me. I still hear him hitting barrels and stuff. So I know he knows I'm not here. 
he thinks you know that I'm not here. I'm just waiting, hoping to get a little bit close. So I can land my shots pretty easily. And I end up running. He hears me. Shoot him a couple times. And then I end up missing a bunch of shots. And he headshots me. So I start running away. Hits me again. I'm like, oh man, I'm definitely gonna die. So heal up. Do a little evasive maneuvering. He missed some, some shots. Use my syringe. Jump over here. And I kind of screwed myself because I can only go one way now. But I got good protection. So I'm trying to get a better position. Jump up here a couple times. And I know he's over there. I'm trying to jump and bait you know, an arrow so I can shoot him. He shoots the arrow. I come out. Shoot him a couple times. But I didn't realize that uh, you can shoot that fast the next arrow. And I thought I was like super close to dead. And uh, you know. Can't spell. Spell again. Alright. Uh, one more time, and he ended up being at 18 health. So, one more shot, he probably would have died. Um, it's okay though. I had a lot of stuff on me, which sucks. So I came back, and he actually didn't have to take the tech trash, which is really big for us. Um, tech trash gives a lot of scrap. Uh, I ran back to the base to go in depot. Um, came back over here to check if it was still wood. And look, yep, there, the structure's still wood. Great, we'll be able to um, raid that here in a little bit. Uh, go ahead and make a tier 2, uh, grab the custom, I'm gonna go ahead and research it, drop all the ammo, uh, put it in there. I really thought about it because I wasn't sure if I wanted to research this or something else first, but I decided to go ahead and research it. Uh, ended up hearing somebody else at the base, came to check it out, headshot, and that was it. Pick up some, uh, some loot from this guy. Nice to have a little extra gear set, I guess. I uh, went back to low rig, and you know, took out the scientist. Coming up here. Now it's really easy to take an oil rig with uh, compound bows and velocity, high velocity arrows. So, over taking it again, throwing a grenade, and we killed all of them again. Found a rock launcher, which is great. Also, used a spy drop that I had. Um, depot some stuff in the boat, which is a great way to do things so you can um, have some more space. Got a jackhammer, which is nice. And got an armor door. A bolt tee. I'm not too great at the bolt tee, but the armor door is super nice for um, for our base. We'll be able to upgrade it later. Hopefully I don't get shot over here by this dang people in cargo. Um, I decided to park a little bit far just because I didn't want people to know where I lived. Or if they knew I was coming back from Ulrich, so I parked next to the other base. Uh, went back to Harbor, keep up some stuff. I end up hearing somebody. So, I just had to go around. I don't hear them anymore, so I know they're crouching. Um, and I know they're coming from that side, so I'm gonna go ahead and come on this side, crouch, pull my bow, and there he is. Hit him once, I know he's gonna run to this side, so shoot him a couple times. Kill him, which is great. He's got a hazmat, which would be nice to take with me. I also got a revolver. Um, pick up the hazmat, pick up the stuff. And then I start getting shot at. So that guy must have been a really bad shot because I was standing still for way too long. I get stuck, um, running away, and I know he's running behind me. I can hear him, but uh, here I'm trying to decide. Okay, am I going to try to find him or go home? I got a lot of scraps, so I went home. Uh, he bought everything. I uh, decided to go to Outpost to trade with somebody a garage door for a satchel, a bean can, um, and somebody ended up recognizing my name from the show that I like watching. So. I uh, tried to talk them back and just trying just try to figure out what to say. And, you know, talk to that guy. Uh, it's always nice making friends. You know, you never know when something might happen. I mean, of course, it's solo, so it's whatever, but I uh, came over to try to hit this tree up. Man, I totally, for some reason, cannot start that chainsaw. Look at my character, he's gonna hit, hit the gym a little bit, you know? Um, went outside for a little bit, was gonna farm, and I ended up finding somebody. Or you're just running around with a torch. Now, you know, if you're running around with a torch, literally everybody sees you across the map. So, I just waited for him. See if he had anything. Shot him. Ended up just dying, I guess, from bleeding out. Uh, looted his body. Didn't have too much, but, you know, you never know. Sometimes niggas just running around with a bunch of stuff. Now, I've been running around looking for a horse for literally, like, 30 minutes. And I couldn't find one. And I needed to do that raid with the... With the wooden top of the base, so I could just flamethrower it. So I came to the back to base on the horse, um, got all the stuff I needed, picked up my flamethrower, and it was time to do my first raid. Now, of course, I'd already kind of raided two other bases, but this was gonna be my actual first raid. So, went over there, uh, got on top, pulled out the flamethrower, and got the raiding. I always end up burning myself every time I do this. 
to make sure nobody's going around. The great thing about flame reads is people don't hear it like they do gunshots, you know? So, it makes it a little bit easier not to get counter unless you do it at night. If you do it at night, there was gonna the fire. And he didn't have anything locked up, so he's gonna burn down his TC2. I'd already built the TC earlier, so I could um, put it down. So, finished burning up his base, put down the TC, locked it, check his loot. He had an okay amount of stuff, but it's always worth it with a flame raid just because you literally just most of the time go through one door, one wall, and you end up getting the TC, you end up getting all their loot too, so literally just spending 200 low grade. I was able to take over his base, get all his loot, um, just end up just literally maybe five minutes of work, and I end up getting a bunch of stuff out of it, which is going to help me later. Like, I even had a satchel, had a chainsaw, had some uh, gear, which is decent, as I'm running out here with uh, wood and stuff still. Um, look, then you have to go to the shotgun trap, got to go down to the store, wait for the code lock. I should have honestly had that um, stuff already made before I got here, that way it'd be way faster and less likely to be countered. Um, put everything down. I'm gonna check his furnaces now. See if he had anything in there. Didn't have anything. Had a lot of food though, which is nice. And oh, there he is. Must have either uh, just joined the game or died from something. Should have broken his bag earlier. Oh, had an SMG, which is nice. Took some of the stuff. I'm gonna go home and go in depot, and then probably come back here in a second to finish moving the rest of the loot. Uh, I'm gonna check around outside, make sure there's nobody here. Jump down on my horse, and let's get out of here. Alright, I made it back home. Not too far, literally, maybe uh, one minute on the horse, you know. Uh, went in deep with the stuff in my TC. And then go in deep with the stuff. Um, my other boxes. And I think forever to make decisions. I'm just trying to like either pick up stuff or depot stuff this is something I need to get better at. So I put everything that I'm not gonna need. So that way when I go back, in case I die, something happens, I still have everything, you know, in here that I uh, want. So I just pick, bring the, you know, the essentials with me. I'm gonna fill up my furnace because it's almost gone. And yeah, drop off the rest of the stuff and head outside. I end up hearing somebody. It wasn't even door camping, but he had his oh. little his boat pulled back looking at my door. Ragnar, it's you. <laughs> Talk to you about Vikings. <laughs> Hit him with that lull, you know. And holy crap, I could not get up here. My horse is literally making fun of me right now. Because I couldn't jump back up here even though I did earlier. Finally made her back up here. Um, took the rest of the loot that I thought I wanted or needed. Nice to have uh, some furnaces, an old refinery, which we'll need later to make more low grade. In case we want to flame raid more bases. Um, he had a bunch of crude oil too, which is really good. So, uh, after I finished looting, went back to oil rig. You know, finished his boat. Took me a little bit to find the boat. But, um, yeah, we'll have to make a base with capabilities of having a boat inside of it. That way we won't have to keep looking for boats. So, ran back over here. Um, decided to, you know, check it out. See if there's anybody here. The crate's still there, so... Let's see, turns out there weren't a whole lot of scientists, so either there's somebody still on it, or they died. Um, I ended up seeing the heavy scientists just walking around, so I figured she died. I ended up missing so many shots here, which is awful. Um, the scientists run up, and I'm getting wet and cold again, so my character is super cold. And look who it is. It was the guy we literally just raided, so what must have happened was he came here, he ended up dying, and then respawning in his base. So, we'll just finish his uh, old rig for him. And at this point, it's getting pretty late into the night, and I was super glad I came here because I was like, all right, I'm getting tired. I'm just, you know, I'm gonna go to bed. But um, instead of that, I was like, all right, I'll do all of it one more time just because it's there, the crate's there, and it was definitely worth it. Found some explosive ammo, and then went upstairs to check if the, uh, the crate had been started or not, and I was hoping it was because I was getting super tired. And it was, so I literally just got to loot everything, and then come back home, drop it off, and I was ready to go to bed for the night. But I knew that my base was definitely not set up very well. So I deep it everything, and then um, started making plans to make a new base. So started making the new base right next to it. I really like my spot where I started just because Old River was right there. And I had just taken Old River for the first time maybe like a week ago. And it ended up being one of my favorite ones to take, uh, especially as a solo. It's just super easy. It's not hard. 
it's very rare that you die unless um, you just get some bad luck or you mess up. So setting up a base here so I can have my boat access. Um, I ended up not having enough uh, stone and wood, so you'll see me intermittently come in and out of the base because I have to farm, come back, you know, put the stone, end up not having enough stone again. So I end up leaving again right after uh, putting all these floors down and these walls and I had to grab uh, some more stone and wood, come back, you know, upgrade everything. And I'm putting one down some garage doors, which is great that I already got because uh, this map had just been blueprint wiped as well, so I literally didn't have anything. Um, so I put down the garage doors, which made it super easy for my uh, my boat base. Put everything down, uh, put TC down, added my stuff in there, took it back out because I need to do more stuff still. Uh, still adding some more additions to the base, abilities to you know go on top of the roof. So if I get roof or uh, door camp, I can just jump outside and kill whoever's trying to door camp me. Um, put everything down, keep putting on uh, some more security stuff, um, trying to build some more doors and walls for my TC, making sure that people can't just get in and through one door and able to take it. Uh, put my airlock down, which is essential. Um, start taking that stuff out of my other base and destroy my other TC. So, broke my other TC, and that's pretty much the end for the night for me, so I decided to put a bag down, and it's time to go to bed for me. So, hope you guys liked the video and there'll be definitely more to come.